Hi everyone and welcome to the April Baby Collaboration. This collaboration celebrates us crafters who have a birthday in April. There is four of us. The links to the other collaborators will be in the description box below. So let me start off by um, saying I'm super excited about doing this collaboration one because I am an April baby and two it gives me a chance to make a bunch of projects um, and get rid of um, another um, paper collection that I wanted to use up that I have had in my stash for a while. Um, what I'm using for this collaboration is going to be this Bow Bunny Gabrielle collection which is absolutely gorgeous. It has creams and um, like a bluish green. It's got a peachy orange, browns. Um, I really love this collection. I just, I love the colors, how they all go together. So today we are celebrating Miss Audrey's birthday, who is Miss So Good All here on YouTube. So happy birthday, Audrey. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. So let me show you the project that I have created today. First, I'm going to start out with, of course, I had to create a birthday card. I absolutely love how this card turned out. Um, it is a five and a half by five and a half square card. And I have used uh, craft card stock that I got from Hobby Lobby along with some uh, cream colored cardstock, which came from Michaels. And then of course I used the, the Bow Bunny uh, paper along with some um, Prima bling and of course my favorite Wild Orchid Craft flowers. And then I used some uh, lace that I have in a bag that is um, my lace stash. So I added a little lace to that. So um, I absolutely love this base paper that I used. It has script, it has a little bit of blue in it. Um, of course it has the browns. And then on top of that, I created this tag out of this really pretty peachy orange paper. I don't know if my colors are coming through. My lighting is really bad here today. It's kind of sunny, kind of gloomy out there today. And then on top of that, I layered um, this paper doily. And then I have this uh, piece of scrap here, which is um, this uh, page here, which is really pretty. And then what I did was I used some of my lace and I just went across the top and the bottom of the strip. And then I had, um, there's some cut aparts in the collection and um, I used one of those, so I have um, several pieces. So I used one of the squares, which actually um, had this um, orangish peachy piece that had a border around it, and I just cut the border off. And it actually has like a leafy um, floral design on it. And then, of course, I have my Wild Orchid Craft Flowers. Um, this is a 40 millimeter um, trellis rose and then of course I have a wild rose and then some open roses some hip rose buds and then some really small um, open roses I inserted some stamens and then I also have um, three little pearls in different shades Two of them are in um, shades of brown, and then I had this peachy orange um, pearl, so I just staggered them as well. And then, of course, I have the happy birthday banner here, which I have popped up a little bit. I also popped up this page piece here just to give it some definition because of the, the lace. And then on the inside, um, what I've done is I've used uh, scrap, some scrap pieces. I used a uh, half a doily, which I did um, distress the edges with um, walnut stain distress ink. And then, of course, I have more of that 
really pretty floral lace. And then of course this is where my message will go, which actually I will make my message on a sheet of paper. So if the recipient wants to use um, this card again, they can. So there is the card that I've created. Oh, and I inked all the edges of the paper and everything again with the Walnut Stain Distress Ink. My second item that I have created is this super cute little trinket box. I absolutely love this trinket box. This trinket box measures, let me get my ruler, it measures seven by four and a half and is about an inch in diameter, but it stands a little higher than that because I put feet on the bottom. So there's some little dowel um, door knockers, doorknobs on the bottom for feet. I did paper the bottom of the box just for stability. So the top of the box, what I have done is um, again, I've used um, actually, I think this bling, which really coordinates with the other bling, um, is Recollections. Then I have inserted um, or have a floral uh, array here of more Wild Orchid Craft flowers. I have some crystal baubles tucked in along. I have some leaves that are also from Wild Orchid Crafts. I have this little round frame. If you remember these, you could get them, um, I think, in a package of four at Michael's in the uh, $1.50 bins. Then I took one of the butterfly punch outs. Well, it was in a, a square and there were four butterflies. And what I did was I used my one and a quarter punch and I punched them out. And I put that um, to make it like a little photo frame with the butterfly inside. And I used crackle uh, accents for the inside here. And then I have some cream colored pearls that go around the edge of the, the frame, which uh, there you can see the crackle really good, really pretty. And then this was one of the cut aparts in the paper. It says the air is like a butterfly with frail blue wings. The happy earth looks at the sky and sings. Beautiful quote. And then again, uh, to tie in the lace, I have um, lace that goes down the side. I have backed it with the peachy orange paper along with some cream colored cardstock. And I have bumped this up so it does have dimension, as you can see. I did paper the side of the lid. I inked everything in um, vintage photo distress ink. And then um, the other thing I have done is um, I did paper the inside of the box as well. You'll have to excuse me. My throat is starting to uh, become sore. Um, I worked last night, so I'm just a little tired. I did um, paper the inside of the box just for stability. And again, I papered the inside here just to make it a little bit so that if whoever receives this box, they can um, put something substantial in there, but there's a lot of space in the box. So there are the two projects that I have created uh, for today. And again, I want to say happy birthday to Audrey. And uh, I, like I said, I hope you have a wonderful birthday. And please check back. Um, the next one up is going to be April 12th. So uh, please stop back and I can't wait to show you what I will create for um, the next birthday. Have a great day.